Is it possible to upload a 60 minute long form video and have AI do all the editing for you? The answer is yes. Just this alone saves you a ton of time. It's crazy that this Opus Pro clip platform allows you to do that and it does it for you automatically. I'm really impressed by what it's done. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this using a tool called Opus Pro Clip. And it's pretty simple to upload new videos. There's two ways that you can upload a video. One is going to be to drop a YouTube link. So if the video that you want to repurpose lives on YouTube, you can just copy the link and paste it into this box right here. Or if you have it stored locally on your computer or hard drive, you can also upload the raw file. For this review video, I have a video from Alex Ormosi where he gave a keynote talk virtually to the students at the University of Texas. This is about an hour long keynote and Q and A session. So I have the YouTube link, so I'm just gonna drop it in the text bar and you can see it's an hour and one minute and 45 seconds. We do have a few options that we can change. We can change the preferred clip length. So if we like videos that are under 30 seconds or between 30 and 60, or if we want even longer clips up to three minutes, we can do that as well. So I'm just gonna keep it on auto and we'll just let the AI determine how long the clip length is. And all we have to do is hit get clips. Our estimated wait time is 12 minutes and it will send us an email when all of the repurposing is done. So we just got the email that our clips are now ready. So let's take a look. So for this one hour long video, we have a total of 21 short form video clips. They all have a title that basically describes what the video is about. There should be captions that are added, even a little summary description, and of course the transcript. With each one of these videos, we can also edit it so that it fits perfectly and we can edit any mistakes or we can edit the way that some of the captions show up on screen. So we're gonna do all of that here shortly, but let's just listen to a few of these videos to see how well it's done just right off the bat. Most people don't try that hard. Like think about the people in this class. You guys know there are some people here who don't try for shit, right? Now imagine that person has a business. It's easy to beat them. It's like, it's really not hard. Like you just, you just have to show up like, and you already beat half the field, right? Like answer your phone on time, like respond to emails when customers ask you questions, like actually tell people about the thing that you have, right? Like try and do a good job, ask them to leave a review, like not rocket science, but guess what? All of those things are like homework and people don't do it. So, a lot of like crushing it in business is really just doing the basics that other people won't do. Most people don't try that hard. Man, that was a fire clip right there. I like that one. It's crazy that AI generated that one, a really strong message. Um, so I really like that clip there. Let's listen to a few more. So like the entire time that you've been in college, plus some working 80 hours a week and just basically making enough money to feed myself. And I, I say that because like everyone has this like, wildly unrealistic expectation, but it's also the thing that keeps them poor, is that they always want to take these big grand slam swings, and as soon as they strike out, start something brand new again. And in the beginning, that's the exciting thing, is like, I want to start something new, I want to, you know, try whatever. But the way that you'll ultimately win is getting really good at something, and you get really good at something by doing it many times. And to do something many times, it takes a long time. So like the entire time that you've been in college, I love that message as well too. Now that we've reviewed some of the clips, let's jump into the editor to see how we can tweak this even further. So inside the editor on the left-hand side, we have the transcription. We could see every single word that is spoken in this video. Now, one of the cool things that this transcription shows is the fact that there's some text that is kind of crossed out. It has that strike through and it's, it's grayed out. Basically what we can do is move the start of the clip back some, uh, just in case AI didn't nail it perfectly, we can push it back, we can include some of these sentences and set it as a start, if it makes more sense to do that. And the same at the end, and even out of the portion that it does have included, we can even cut into that as well. Over here on the right side, we have the preview of the actual clip, we also have the timeline, we can skip to certain parts and split the clips and, and do some more fine tuning if we really wanted to do so. But I think for a lot of the clips that it's generated, there's actually no need to do that, which is super helpful. But it is really valuable and nice that you can do some minor tweaking and to just fine tune this video, any of the videos, even further to your liking. What's also nice that we could see right away in this preview is that it has taken the, it has basically created a split screen on the top and bottom of 
this frame. So this is in the nine by 16 aspect ratio. This is going to fit almost all of the social media platforms that you might be uploading videos to. And this original video was in the 16 by nine, which is landscape. This is how you would watch videos on your computer or on a TV. But when you convert content to vertical video, a lot of times you'll either have to crop in. But in this case, what they did was they actually split the 16 by nine aspect ratio and put Alex on who was on the right side of the screen and put um, the, the instructor here uh, who was on the left side of the screen at the bottom of this frame. So now we get both people in frame in this nine by 16 vertical aspect ratio. Just this alone saves you a ton of time. It's crazy that AI, this Opus Clip, this Opus Pro Clip platform allows you to do that and it does it for you automatically. And then of course, in the middle are the captions. And it's funny that this video I'm using is an Alex Ormosi video. And this font that it's picked out is kind of coined as the Alex Ormosi style captions. There's a lot of content creators that use captions like this. And it's really important to have captions on your videos because a lot of videos are consumed nowadays ones at least on social media with the sound off. And so if you have captions on your videos, then that allows the person viewing it or maybe seeing the first few seconds of that video to understand maybe what it's about. And then if they find it interesting and it captures their attention, then they can click into the video and listen to it with sound. But if there was no sound to begin with, then there was no captions to begin with, they may not actually click into that video and watch the entire thing. And from my preview so far, the captions are pretty accurate. For not having to do any of that work myself, I'm pretty impressed by what this tool has done. So I'm really excited just by uploading one video, an hour long video at that, and getting some really valuable clips and they automatically come out looking great, that makes sense, and that I would be willing and excited to post on one of my social media accounts. For the auto captions, we can decide how many lines um, will show up over here. And so we can use three lines, we can use one. I feel like most of the time it's gonna do um, a maximum of two lines. We can change the position of the captions either at the top, bottom, or it will auto. And so I actually kind of like them directly in the middle, especially with this crop screen. And even when it goes full screen with Alex, I think having them in the middle is fine as well. We can also add an image overlay for a logo or a CTA, anything that we want to add on top of this video. This is all customizable and we can save this as a template. So if you're working with multiple clients or there's different social media accounts that have different branding colors, you can save the templates up here. And so that way it's just more efficient when you come back and edit videos for different people. Another cool feature is that we can add an auto intro caption. And this will be the first frame of your video so that when you have it posted to a social media account and you have it kind of on your grid, or just kind of a, a list of your videos, this will be kind of the teaser frame that shows what this video is about. And you can customize what this actually says. So let's do a little bit of editing as if we wanted to change a couple things. So over here in the transcript is where all of this is going to happen. Just by highlighting one of the words, what we can do is change the highlight color. We can change where, if that's the start of the clip or the end of the clip, we can delete that section, we can add emojis, or we can actually change what it says. So it makes it extremely easy to edit. And I can change the colors just by clicking the word itself and then clicking one of these buttons up here. Now, let's say I wanted to add an emoji for the section here where the caption says really good at something. So let's just say I wanted to add a check mark. So I'll hit the, the word good and then hit the little emoji button. And let's just say I want to search for check. I do the check mark button and then I can actually drag where this emoji goes on the screen. I can make it bigger which is pretty cool. And once you've made all of your changes, you'll just wanna hit save and compile. This will save all of your changes that you made with the captions. And once you've made all of your changes, all you have to do is hit the download button and it will go straight into your downloads. That's it. Now, Opus Pro Clip is free to try. I am using the free trial for this video, but I do have a paid plan as well. So I just wanna go over some of the pricing plans that they have. It really comes down to the amount of minutes that you're going to be working with. So for a particular month, it would be about $19 per month for 200 upload minutes. So that would be three hours and 20 minutes that you can upload per month. And if you needed more minutes per month, you could just scale this up all the way up to a thousand minutes per month for $95 per month. We have a little calculator here to help you determine how many minutes you would need and the cost associated with it as well. So I wanted to keep this video short, but I hope that you found some value in it. This is a tool that I'm currently using and plan to continue to use just because of how valuable it is and it saves time. I know that it's not 100% perfect, but the clips that it picked were ones that I would pick myself and AI did all of the work for me. It added the captions and it makes it super easy to fine tune and make the videos just that much better. And if you're watching this video, you probably are on the journey of finding the best AI video editing app or software. 
Well, I've got good news for you. I have tested the top three. So all you have to do is check out this video right here where I actually tested the top three AI video editing apps and I did crown a winner. So check that video out right there. I save you a ton of time so that way you don't have to test all of these apps yourself. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.